الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته برادي يوسف عليكم السلام ورحمة الله How are you? الحمد لله How are you? الحمد لله uh, So here we are uh, a few months after our last interview we're doing part 3 now and within a few days you're about to start a new exciting chapter in your life Inshallah <laughs> so, where, where, where are you going and what are you going to be up to? Uh, I'm, inshallah, I'm transferring over to a uh, university in San Luis Obispo. Inshallah. And uh, what are you going to be studying? Uh, I'm going to be studying political science uh, with an emphasis in global studies and a minor in mathematics, inshallah. MashaAllah. That's awesome. Uh, any, do you have any goals after? School? Inshallah, I hope to, you know, go to law school and, um, and to study international law, inshallah, help people abroad and um, you know live out my life helping being immersed into humanity as the prophets have been beautiful okay so since we last talked i remember the first time was uh super bowl sunday <laughs> Fe february yeah. 3rd yeah and then the set the second time that was also a sunday but what when was that was that in april i think it was, march? March. It was in march march yeah march so yeah, subhanAllah. It's been a while. So, wow, so it's almost six months. Yeah. SubhanAllah. Okay, so tell us, what, are you, what have you been up to? Alhamdulillah, I've been, you know, uh, one of my biggest uh, focuses during that time to now has been uh, the youth at our mosque. Alhamdulillah, it's become very prominent, uh, very successful. They've now been able to uh, purchase a new facility, Alhamdulillah. And uh, inshallah, hopefully we have more workshops, more uh, events, more activities and programs for all these children. Uh, as long as you know it's our niya is correct and we have the support of the community, inshallah, everything is possible. Inshallah. So, what did you like in particular about uh, working with youth? I felt the community was much more united than before. <laughs> Yeah, alhamdulillah. I mean, not to say they weren't, but I'm just saying that it, it, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful to see parents come together and parents collaborate and parents want to do. Our last event was at, uh, we went, alhamdulillah, to Muslim Day at Six Flags. And, uh, you know, subhanAllah, like compared to last year, last year it was just a couple of cars and 20 kids. Alhamdulillah, this year we got a coach bus and like uh, 39 kids, 11 chaperones separated into teams, had enough funding to pay for everything except just they paid for their own food. But that's, subhanAllah, it's more than enough. That's like double than last year. So Alhamdulillah, with the mercy of Allah, we've been able to bring these communities together, these different kinds of, you know, uh, families. And they're all from all, each, you know, each part, section of the world and, and they still, they become best friends and they hang out and Alhamdulillah now we're in the process of creating a basketball team and Good. it's amazing. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, so what are any, do they have any uh, events planned even though you're going to be in Southern California? Uh, inshallah, I hope, I mean, I, I will still stay involved, not as thorough as before, but I will support, I will, uh, you know, um, try to be as updated as possible for future events. I'm not completely sure our center is still being built, inshallah. Um, we're trying to see what we can do if, I mean, we're just trying to get as much support as we can. Uh, and, uh, but I, I figure we started with workshops, um, you know, uh, brother uh, Ashfaq and brother Muhammad, my two, you know, best friends, companions, uh, they, uh, they're starting a technical drawing class. Nice. And inshallah, like that's something they can use. And then we're going to start with our brother Bilal, inshallah, other best friend of mine. He's inshallah trying to think of an Islamic course. I mean, you know, since he's from Saudi, and so. Nice. Nice. So alhamdulillah, inshallah, a lot of new, new ideas. It's still being thrown around, but hopefully, you know, the youth um, all benefit from it. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, so now I guess so. Continuing with uh, your particular story, you know how we, you know. Uh, started interviewing you about your story and your journey to Islam. So t take us, I guess, help us, uh, take us, you know, uh, you know, on a on a continuous journey with you. What, how has that been, you know, in your journey in, in regards? To, you, you've told us one part in, you know, in your involvement with Muslims, but, but how about your relationship with Islam and getting to learn more about Islam? 
I, th I think that it's become, and believe it or not, like people always say it becomes easier. I think it's become the opposite. It's become much harder. And the reason I say that is because the more you learn, I mean, with anything, the more responsibility you have, the more you have to acquire more knowledge, more intricate knowledge and, and detail. And, and at first as a Muslim, like uh, knowledge was very, uh, readily available. It was like, you know, um, this is, you know, how you pray, this is why you pray, this is, but now it's like, uh, like the etiquettes, like, oh, like the fiqh, like the, it's, it's become much more in depth. So my job as a Muslim becomes harder because now I had to place much more as myself in order to see, to get closer to Allah. It's, and you know, I, I love it because it's my jihad, it's my personal struggle and also my jihad to my community. But the thing is, um, I believe that uh, um, it's a struggle worth having. So that's, I mean, basically what I've been up to. I've been studying, I've been trying to read some books, especially about uh, marriage and also about, because inshallah, you know, I hope to marry and have a, a Muslim family in the near future. And inshallah, I hope to, you know, like uh, devote my life in every way to Allah. So, inshallah, inshallah. Okay. So, I guess for those who are watching that are not Muslim, uh, mm -hmm. Any words of encouragement for those who are, you know, interested or, you know, who say, who approach you and say, okay, Yusuf, can you tell me, you know, in your words, what, what is Islam? The definition of Islam? Yeah, I mean, as, as, according, according to your personal journey. Um, for me, Islam has been, I mean... I don't know if there's a word for it. I mean, my whole life has basically changed. And it doesn't mean it makes it hard, but it does make it worthwhile. I believe Islam will, you know, take your breath away and will keep you, um, you know, away from a time of sadness, will keep you struggling in a time of ease. It will definitely push you, motivate you. It will do everything for you. Islam is a lifestyle for me. I've like compared to what I was before. Um, it completely different. I look back and I, I, it's as if I was that was 40, 50 years ago, but it's only like three years ago, and it's amazing to see that. Uh, change continues and alhamdulillah and change like, you know um, does not stop and, and you always meet new people like have new knowledge you know like uh, there'll be new opportunities new struggles new problems of course but I mean again if you have that um, uh, you know niya or like your intention and you have the knowledge um, everything's possible and at first it looks you know Especially if you're a non-Muslim, it looks uh, difficult and it looks challenging. But after a while, you start noticing that you feel comfortable with yourself. You feel comfortable with yourself with Islam. Then others will feel comfortable with you and yourself in Islam. And then you'll feel like you're in this, um, uh, I don't know, this environment. Mm -hmm. But then, that, then that's where more responsibility comes in. That means that then you have to learn more, and then you have to learn how to how to expand with that responsibility. How to treat you know yourself as a Muslim. How to treat your family as Muslims. How to treat, and so it becomes becomes a lifestyle. So I mean, my definition is basically, if you go into it, go into it slowly, but um, or if you're interested in it, like learn slowly, but don't be discouraged by all information. Just be wary that it's always going to be there to help you. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm aware that, you know, there's going to be times of difficulty. For me, it was my family. My family is very predominantly, you know, Christian. Um, and my struggle, I was scared that what their reaction might be, what my relationship with them might be, what my relationship with, you know, obviously what my whole life was turned out to me. I mean, like, 
the, the way I eat, the way I talk to men, the way I talk to women, the way I, you know, like address uh, uh, my personal self. Um, I feel that if you're going to have any struggle, Islam will have a solution for it. You may feel like alone sometimes, you may feel like you're not, you don't have enough, but inshallah, Allah knows best. There's this uh, dua that I learned, you know, in La ilaha illallah wa lahu la sharika lahu wa lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu and you know basically you know Allah has no partners and Allah is like you know like the all, all like um, the all powerful the Almighty and you know this this speaks a lot to me because you know you may be alone you may be having a difficult time with your family maybe having a you know like a uh, problem with like uh, uh, whatever it may be inshallah it will be worthwhile because you will be with the most powerful strength of them all and that's Allah so I I invite you to you know to give it a try. I invite you to to you know to want to to I mean this sounds a little weird but to want to have a struggle because when you ask for strength Allah will give you struggles and when you have those struggles and what you do with them will be your strength. And so I I am basically asking you to go through those struggles and see what they take you to and how worthwhile they may be. And on that note, Brother Yusuf, we look forward to uh, hearing about your uh, your success in, in overcoming the challenges and struggles, you know, and in the best of success in inshallah. university, inshallah, and of course in your continual goals, uh, going to law school and any other goals that you may have. And we look forward to seeing you when you get back, inshallah. Inshallah. I hope for all the brothers and sisters watching that, uh, inshallah, you know, that they also, uh, like, you know, um, uh, put uh, put up their personal stories, put up their their, their uh, and talk about their life and their struggles. Because I mean, again, like I I'm I'm just a normal person here in San Mateo, uh, and uh, you know we we are all just Muslims, and this is our Alma, and we we here to support each other. So I would do this in light that inshallah you might take something a part of me and take it with you and think of me or think of the uh, the people who also struggle as well as out there as well and and you succeed inshallah inshallah thank you brother yusuf jazakallah khair barakallah fee assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi